Hello, hello, and welcome to another video. This will be another Bookie 2988 reaction. This one is called Hasbro Fires Everyone for Christmas. I'm not sure what this video is about, so let's find out. Also, Bookie did to do two videos after this, but I may not react to it because I haven't really reacted to Bookie's uh, Power of the Internet podcast stuff. I don't think I'm going to start now, so. The next two videos after this probably won't be reacted to, but this one will be. Um, so I just want to give a heads up on that. So with that being said, let's see what happens in this video. I imagine a lot of us grew up playing board games like Battleship and Monopoly. And we collected toys like Star Wars and, and Ghostbusters. And we played games as teenagers like Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons. Now imagine being so inspired by these games that you become a game designer yourself. And you land a job at the largest game and toy manufacturer in the world, Hasbro. And then you show up for work in December of 2023 to find that your headquarters has been shut down and you and 1,100 of your friends have been let go two weeks before Christmas. Well, that's what just happened at Hasbro. 20% of their workforce has been fired two weeks before Christmas. In a classic Ebenezer Scrooge moment, they fire everyone just before Christmas because they know they've got quarterly earnings coming up and they need to make it look good for the stockholders. They have chosen the stockholders over the people that they hired to make the games that have made them record profits over the last five years. Those people are going to get a shitty Christmas so stockholders can feel slightly more confident about their investment sometime next year. And this one's a little bit personal for me because they have fired a lot of people that work on my two favorite games, Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons. These are two games that I have played for over 30 years. I started playing them when I was a young adult and I'm still playing them now. They are Household names. Everyone knows Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons. Most of us have played one or the other at a point in time. How have you mismanaged? I've never played Dungeons and Dragons before, but I know what the game is and what mind playing that. But I would need to find five good friends <clears throat> to do that with. However, I have played Magic the Gathering, uh, so I had some friends. Uh, I used to go to this church when I was in middle school, start of high school. Um, and I played the card game Magic the Gathering before. And when I was on Xbox 360, there was a game called Magic 2013 or something. And I played that too. So. Your company so badly that you have driven these two incredible brands into the ground. And look, when it comes to the toys that Hasbro sells, I get it, right? The majority of these toys just don't sell anymore because a lot of people have outgrown toys. Kids are not familiar with Star Wars or Ghostbusters or things along that lines. And Disney and these movie companies have utterly ruined these properties for people. The adults who might collect these toys are entirely disenfranchised with these series due to bad writing. But when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering, these games have continued to be on the rise. Magic the Gathering is a billion dollar brand generating over a billion dollars a year and Dungeons and Dragons has had a renaissance over the last five years like you could have never imagined but due to the meddling over at Hasbro these games have suffered they have had bad PR moments when they try to take over Dungeons and Dragons and change the open license when it came to Magic the Gathering they have produced so much product that even deeply enfranchised players like me cannot keep up so even these brands have to suffer and now we are seeing those repercussions oh and when i say we are seeing the repercussions of course i'm not including the ceo of hasbro who received nine million dollars bonus compensation in addition to his 1.5 million dollar salary last year i kind of feel like nine million bonus dollars for driving a company to the ground is not well earned and i feel like that nine million dollars could have saved a lot of jobs at least gotten some families through christmas but i don't know maybe i'm the asshole chris Chris made sure these families got a little something for Christmas, though. He sent them this heartwarming letter, which he explains that, you know, a year ago they set out to make a bigger, better Hasbro, but he failed to lead them into that future, and that's why they're getting fired. 
to answer the question, why now, two weeks before Christmas? He says it just makes sense to enter 2024 with a leaner staff and a more strengthened backbone for Hasbro. Chris had some parting words to let everybody know that just got fired, that they're not just employees to him, they are friends and colleagues. And boy, I would not want to be one of Chris's friends this Christmas, would you? But at least Chris put a little Easter egg in here at the end of this letter to his fired employees saying that, you know, stockholders, don't worry, we'll run a very lean ship and we'll implement brand new systems to make sure we can cut human costs by as much as we need to to turn a profit. They're trying to downplay it as a mistake, but I'm not falling for it. The government just got caught red handed hiding. Just like every other CEO, he's probably talking about AI. And when it comes to Mad at the Gathering, AI designed cards, AI designed art, AI designed products. Uh, When it comes to Dungeons and Dragons, AI designed modules. Uh, When it comes to toys, AI designed garbage. That's your future. Cut the human cost out of it and do it as cheaply as possible. Make the machines do it. Now, if you're as old as I am and you've seen this happen over and over again, you know that the future of this company is probably the same as the future of all of those other past companies where they run as lean as they can for as long as they can. The products continue to get worse and eventually the company shuts down or sells to another company that can afford to invest to rebuild it up. And that's certainly the future for Hasbro. CEOs are generally a very specific breed a sociopath and they are hired because they can do a thing that most people would not want to do which is grind a company into the ground destroying the lives of as many of its employees as it can to make sure stockholders make profit and chris cox is definitely one of those people the writing was on the wall back in 2022 when these brands had their huge pr moments and everyone was telling them that this was not a course they wanted to continue to chart but chris did it knowing that there would be a tremendous amount of human suffering but for one brief moment him and his stockholders would make a tremendous amount of money regardless of that bill eventually coming due not only did they overprint and overproduce magic the gathering cards for the last three years but then there was that whole attempt to wring every single dime out of the open game license for dungeons and dragons damaging that brand for eternity and pushing a lot of developers a lot of players a lot of game companies to the competing brand pathfinder permanently tarnishing the dungeons and dragons name for quite some time so badly that even baldur's gate 3 can't make people love that game again all in an attempt to wring out every single dime from the players at the cost of suffering for its employees to make sure that Chris had $9 million under its tree and his employees that just got fired have a bunch of shitty Hasbro toys not even they want. That's the future Chris created. Congratulations, we're now living in it. For me, it's extremely personal because Man of the Gathering is my favorite game and I would set aside every other game i've ever played to continue to play magic the gathering and the people that make these games are rock stars to me gavin verhe mark rosewater these may not be names to you but they're heroes of mine people who i genuinely worship because they have created such an incredible game that has kept me not only entertained but created friendships and lifelong friendships with people that I genuinely love, and I still get together to play that game with those people once a week. And I think it's kind of amazing, and I think it sucks to see them and their colleagues suffer this Christmas. So the last few seconds of my video, Chris, I've got a Christmas present for you. (laughs) Merry Christmas, buddy. I hope you get the Christmas you deserve. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. But that was an interesting video. So, it's Hasbro Company. I guess isn't doing good right now with what I heard in this video. But with that being said, that ends this video here. Stay tuned for the next one.